If you've ever been working on a song and thinking, you know what I need? I need a 70s drum machine that sounds nothing like drums. Well, this is the plug-in for you. Hey guys, and welcome back to Free Plugin Friday. A slightly different intro we got going there. Uh, today we are looking at Bucket Pops uh, by Full Bucket Music. Uh, it is basically, yeah, a very old style drum machine that you might have heard built into old organs and various other pieces of equipment, some synths and stuff. That's really what it's going for. So let's just dive straight into it and have a look. Uh, now, the first thing to mention is this bottom section here. Uh, this is really kind of like a global thing. You've got different presets you can use. Um, you can just play from here. You've got different options as far as like your MIDI settings and MIDI files. You can sync it to your door. You can learn some MIDI controls. And you can actually put in your own sequences however you like. Um, so that's really cool and if you go here into settings you've got settings we will go into them in a bit later uh, but let's have a look at the basics first so it's basically laid out very simply you've got control of a few of the instruments you have volume and a balance which is like a high low thing and then you've got all your different sequences so you've got two different banks of sequences uh, so that's the top bank which is green bottom bank is red and if you hold shift, you can put them on it together. And sometimes I get some wacky things like this. Uh, so the way I like to use it is to sync it with my door. So if you hit the sync button, um, suddenly when you press play, then it plays with your door, which is great. And then the tempo control doesn't do anything. If you turn sync off, you can change the tempo alt from one. So we hit play. All the way to 240. We get some weird things with the low tempo. So that's basically how that works here. We can go through the different, uh, these three different controls. So maybe I'm just going to. Put it on something more basic. Uh, let's just go rock one. Let's go tango. Oh, not all the instruments are there, I think. Oh, yeah. There it is. Of course, they sound nothing like their actual instruments, but that's what they are. And you've got the balance control here. It's kind of like a high-low pass kind of thing. And of course, volume. Now we can go and listen to, maybe we should just listen to some of the main rhythms that you generally get out of these things before diving into the sequence and the settings. So let's just, I'm just going to click through each of them. We're going to keep the tempo at 100. Uh, just so you can really hear the different uh, rhythms. You might recognize a lot of these if you've used any of the machines before.
So that's basically all your default sounds, but if you go into here and you can have a look, there's a bunch of other ones and this messes with all the settings, with all the sequences, and um, you've got some initialized patches as well. So let's initialize it. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna sync it up, and go to the settings tab. Uh, first we'll do sequence actually, sequence. So sequence is, is what you expect. You have steps here and you can just draw them in. So if I want some extra kicks, We add an extra snare in. Maybe some claves. Now I don't think there's any way you can do, uh, can you fill the whole, oh, let's fill it like that. Oh, you can do fill, which is cool. So we fill 32 notes. So we could just clear it all and, and then you could say fill 16th. And we want this to be 32s. And maybe this to be. Cool. So we'll leave that. Uh, you, you know, you can basically mess around there. You've got all the instruments and you can't really control the volumes in the main window, but you can in settings. So let's have a look at settings. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, you have tune for all of them. You have attack for most of them. You have decay for most of them. You have resonant, high pass, all these things. So maybe we could, I think we could, can we go in here and uh, I'm not sure if we can. Oh no, activate all strat. Um, clear all events. So we'll clear all events. And I just want to hear the kick. Uh, so let's just go fill oh, eighth notes. So you can hear the kick now. Uh, so then we can go into settings and I can show you what this does if we just listen to the kick. Now you can, you have seven different outputs, so you can send different things to different outputs, and you can also change the note, so you can control it with the keyboard if you'd like, instead of using the sequencer, and of course then, I think you can extract the MIDI files here, um, MIDI files, so you can export them, uh, so you can put a sequence in here and put it into your door, and then use your door to control it. But let's have a look at the settings, so tune is wild, like it's not, it's parameters are all over the place, so you can get really, really cool different sounds, and then you got attack. Which is basically, it's more like the envelope, but you've got decay, which is cool. So you can get some kind of... Like almost weird swelly bass stuff going on. And then you've also got level. Let's go to a more normal setting. So maybe we should, we'll add a snare in. Um, and we'll just have a look at what you can do with the snare. Whoops, wrong page. It's the same, you've got tune control. Tac, okay. Then you've got this reso tick and high pass, which really gets that snare sound. So you really morph it however you like. And then pan it. So you do have a lot of control in this section, more than you think for a plugin like this, to get some really wacky sounds. Um, so if we would get up a groove again, so let's go into sequence and just load up waltz or something. Uh, I don't know why it's not playing waltz. Let's go main page. We want it on the waltz. You have this rate and density for these, uh, these two here. And for this section here, you have resonance and high pass.
Almost sounds like someone breathing there. So you see, we've now made some weird ass sounding thing, and that's why this plugin is really, really cool, because you go from getting some sounds you've heard to some really weird, crazy shit, which is awesome. And um, I think that you can go back into the settings. Um, not sure if there's a way to initialize it. Um, no. Oh, you can actually change the window size. Didn't know that. Uh, so you can change the window size, which is cool. Um, uh, listenize the program, and you go back to, I believe, having everything normal. Well, let's have a listen. You kind of get the idea, and it's still playing. Um, so there's not a lot more to have a look at it. I could dive right into, you know, getting MIDI and saving things. There's a few different presets, so maybe we're just going to play through some of the presets. So I'm going to go to zero. We're just going to hit sync and play and just change through the presets so you can hear it. We might keep sync on. Okay, so the presets don't save the sync setting, so I'll just leave it off for now then. So this is something really cool that's like, just odd. Ooh, that's really cool. It's got a deep space vibe there. Some of these are getting a bit loud. So much stuff you could use for like getting that nostalgic sci-fi vibe. It sounds really cool. And I think these are just all the normal settings now. Yeah, so the rest are just the ones we've been to. So that is uh, Bucket Pops by Full Bucket Music. Like I said, I could go into more detail, but it's kind of enough for you to hear what it sounds like. It's not the most, you know, amazing, world-changing plugin. It's more just something cool with a weird vibe that's doing a nostalgic thing that you can mess around with. So go check it out. Link in the description below. As always, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Free Plugin Friday is every single Friday, and I try to have at least one other video on various subjects every week. It really depends on weeks and what kind of videos I'm working on. At the moment, I'm doing a bit of synth stuff, and I'm going to get back into doing some guitar stuff. But it does vary, but do subscribe so you get notifications. Hit that bell as well so you actually get the notifications coming into your feed. And I will see you next time.